and welcome. This video is going to be the first part of a series that I am starting as of this video, and I'm calling it From Closet to Cash. And that is because one of the big pieces of advice or the repeated pieces of advice I hear throughout reselling YouTube to people that want to start reselling and they're like, oh, do you have a budget? Like, what do you think we should start with? Most people, including myself, encourage you to find something in your own home that you no longer want anymore and list that. And then once you sell that, take the profits from that and then roll it into your business until you get to the point where you are consistently bringing in an income. And I figured I would like to test that and to basically prove that that is a viable way to start reselling. So I have this closet here behind me. This is my actual closet. Uh, my rotating reseller closet is in the other room. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a closet clear out today, as the video says. And anything I pull from my closet today to go into the rotating reseller closet, I'm going to use that money to then go shopping and see how long it takes for me to get to the point of zero investment, selling my own stuff, to the $1,200 that I have mentioned before on this channel that I need to cover my fixed living expenses. Not my variable expenses like food and gas, that kind of stuff, but my fixed ex expenses, which would be $1,200. I would cover like my mortgage, my HOA fees, my, my utilities, that kind of stuff. So uh, I guess without further ado, I'm gonna back you all up and we will start going through this closet. Um, and then there is Miss Moxie down there. She will be just staring at you and me probably the entire time I'm doing this. And now she's just showing you her butt because she is a cat and that is her favorite thing to do. Okay, so let's see here. This does not fit me well. The only reason I have kept this is because I want to cut out this graphic and put it on a jean jacket. I just have never found the time to do that. So I'm gonna just hold on to this and hope that that happens. And then the jean jacket for this is actually in here somewhere. I don't know where exactly it is. Then I have this Boston Marathon sweatshirt. Uh, this is damaged, so I'm going to keep it because it's damaged. I actually worked at Adidas and was at the Boston Marathon, which is why I own this. So this is also something I will be keeping. I'll probably keep it until it turns vintage to where the damage doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> so this next piece is a Twitch sweatshirt. I will actually be okay with selling this and I wore this in Japan. Uh, I bought this I think at a TwitchCon but I think I maybe paid five dollars for it. I'm not sure. I didn't pay very much for this uh, so or it was a gift. I do not remember. It might have been a gift. I don't remember. So this is going to go up for sale and I will just wear it until it sells or not because, well, you know, if it doesn't sell now, I'll just wear it in the winter. So here's one thing to go and I'll just put this here. Next piece is a Bulbasaur sweatshirt. Uh, I'm keeping this. It's, it's like one of the few Christmas sweatshirts I own. Uh, this is a New Kids on the Block long sleeve. I think I might be letting this move on to a new home. I think this I got this at H&M or Forever 21. Or none of those. <laughs> but I think maybe I haven't worn this in a while because it doesn't fit anymore. Or maybe I just forgot it existed. Yep, seems as though I just forgot it exists because it still fits fine. So keeping this one and just actually have to remember to wear it. This Twitch Watch shirt I actually do wear. So this one I'm keeping. This is just a blue H&M. It's very see-through, but I have recently worn this. So I will keep this one. This is a Gap Moto sweater. Um, the arms are too tight for me now. 
uh, which makes me a little sad because I actually do like this sweater, but part of the reason I don't really wear it is because the arms are too tight. I will have to definitely sweater shave this, but this is gonna go in the rotating reseller closet. I am going to let this move on to new home. This is another H&M piece. <laughs> I wear this quite often, so that's gonna go in here. This is a piece from Robert and Danielle. This is the DG Simply Zen. Um, this is gonna go back in my closet because it's a gift. Now this is an express shirt that I almost never wear. No, it's not express, it's the Gap. But it's a cute like pinup style. I just don't really wear this. Um, also the arms are really tight. So that's gonna go in the rotating retailer closet. We have a Lou and Gray piece that I thrifted and I love it. We have uh, a piece from Zella that I picked up recently, which is actually perfect for my shoulders. So that's definitely staying with me. Another piece from Robert and Danielle for DG Simply Zen. I'm keeping this, I love this. <laughs> I love it a lot. I actually have two of these. Where's the other one? So more Twitch stuff. I have, these are both men's extra small. I am sorry I'm going to try to talk over the gardeners because I have, I won't film today if I wait for them. I have been waiting for them to have a stop servicing the property since this morning. So I have it purple with the glitch logo and then in gray with the bleeding heart. I'm going to keep these because I wear them. see. I wear this, Banana Republic. Uh, this is a men's baseball shirt with my old roller derby league on it. You see these are actually like people and skaters and helmets and roller skates. It's really cool design. Um, keeping that. And then here's my favorite thrifted sweater. So that's definitely staying. Here's another piece. There's two more pieces from Robert and Danielle, so I'm going to keep those. This is from when I tried to do merch, like when I first started streaming. So this I'm keeping because memories. I do have nostalgia attached to some clothes. This is something I picked out of Stitch Fix, one of the few pieces I bought from Stitch Fix, and I wear it all the time, so I'm keeping that. This is a Lou and Gray piece. Whenever I wear this out, people ask me about it. <laughs> like where I got it from, and I'm like, I got it from a thrift store, like four years ago. I can't help you. So I'm keeping that one. Woo! My goodness. Ah. This is a vintage Patagonia piece that is made in the USA. Um, I have never worn this. I decided to take something else out of my closet and put this in there thinking that I was going to wear it and I have it. So this is definitely going to go, if I haven't, if I purposefully took something out of my wardrobe to justify putting this in and I still haven't worn this, this doesn't need to be there. Here is a Princess Bride raglan. It's going to go with my other ones. This is another Twitch. Um, this one is too tight on my arms, so I don't wear this. So this is also going to go in the pile to sell. This is another Lou and Gray piece. I wear this all the time, so that's gonna go in here, this one. This is a Lou and Gray piece that the dogs have uh, decimated, so I'm keeping it. And then another thrifted sweater that I wear all the time. I love me my oversized men's sweaters. So that goes there. This is a, I don't know if you can see it, this is Space Invaders. This is from Loot Crate. I'm keeping this because I wear this too. 
this is a Bowden piece uh, I wore for a video and then have not worn it since. So I think this is going to have to go in the rotating reseller closet because I, I look great in it. But if I don't wear it, does it matter? No. So that's going to go there. This is a Columbia piece. I realize I don't wear this anymore. I think it's because the arms are too tight. So I used to wear it all the time, but my arms have gotten bigger. So it doesn't fit anymore. So this is going to go in here. This is a dress from J. Crew. It's a sweatshirt dress. I love this dress. So I'm keeping this. Oh, here's the jacket. <laughs> Here's the jacket. I'm going to put these two together. So that way I remember they're supposed to go together. This is the jacket. I want to put this on. So that goes over there. So I can remember where that is. All right, where am I? All right. I wore this for a video. It's an L.L. Bean linen piece. The problem is, is it cuts into my arm meats, my pit meats. We've, we've discussed what these are. Um, so this unfortunately is not comfortable to wear, so this will also be getting sold. This, however, doesn't cut into my pit meats. This is a W5 piece that I will continue to wear. This is a J. Crew piece that I took some really cute photos in. I think I'm gonna hold on to this because I looked really good in those photos. So I will hold on to this one for now. This is a vintage top that uh, I like. It's got puff sleeves. I haven't decided. I really like this, so I'm gonna keep it. I'll wear it this summer, it'll be fine. This is another J. Crew piece that I wore for video and I haven't worn it since then. So I'm going to go ahead and let this one get sold. It's another piece I thrifted at some point. So there's that. This is Liquid, which is not a great brand, but I liked the shirt. However, I no longer like the shirt. I don't really wear this, and I have plenty of cuter vintage pieces that have pussy bows on them. So this is gonna go and attempt to be sold. This is uh, a vintage piece from my mom, so this stays with me. This is also a vintage piece from my mom. I can't remember if my grandma made these, and gave them to her or if my mom made these. But this, these are vintage from the 70s, so they're staying with me, because that was the deal when my mom gave them to me. This is a vintage TomTom uh, -tom linen shirt. If you find vintage TomTom -tom in a small or medium, please hit me up, please. I want it. <laughs> this is one of my favorite shirts to wear in the summer. This is a Express V-neck uh, sweater. I don't wear it. So, gonna go away. All of these skirts, they're staying with me. All right. This is a, this is Hell Bunny. This is a Peter Pan. Disney collab with Hell Bunny. I got this at Hot Topic. Uh, I'm keeping this. <laughs> this is CC. I have never had an opportunity to wear this at all. But isn't it pretty? This is something I bought. It has a drop waist, and I have never been able to wear it because I don't really go do stuff anymore. So. I'm going to keep that until I wear it. This is a jersey dress that has a lot of memories attached to it. Uh, so I'm keeping it for memory reasons. So dress I'm wearing, I have it in two other colors. I love these dresses. So, and I wear them all the time. I picked these up from Nordstrom a long time ago. This is a Me Undies dress. This is a Hachi dress. Uh, Me Undies, yes, the underwear company. They do actually make clothing. This dress is super soft, very comfortable, very warm. 
Uh, I got it for, they sent it to me for a sponsorship for my Twitch stream. And I haven't really worn it since then. So I, I actually exclusively have MeUndies underwear. <laughs> They're not currently a sponsor, but uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and let this go uh, just because I don't ever wear it, even though it looks great on me. This is another fancy dress. This is a Betsy Johnson dress. I look very good in this dress. Uh, this has cap sleeves, uh, which I don't particularly like, but this is a maybe. I don't have very many. Okay, this is my first maybe because I don't like cap sleeves, but I look really good in it. So that's a maybe. This is a J. Crew dress. I also look cute in this. I'm going to keep this one. This is a Forever 21 dress that I absolutely love wearing. It is so soft and comfortable. It's perfect to wear in the summertime. I've actually had to replace the buttons on the back multiple times. <laughs> this is something I picked up when I was actually 21. <laughs> so I'm keeping this. This is another J. Crew dress. This is a maybe. We're gonna put another maybe here. I just don't need career wear anymore, and I don't really go anywhere. This is Adriana Papel. This is uh, something I went, I've only worn it to a charity dinner one time. I looked really cute in it. This also has cap sleeves, I just realized. I'm gonna have to put those on and figure out if I want to wear them or not. This is Express. I think I'm going to keep this just because I don't think I've worn it in a while. And um, one of my favorite YouTubers, The Winds, they sail around the world on their catamaran. And she has this dress and it makes me happy whenever I see her wear it. This is a blue and gray tunic piece. I wear this all the time. It's going to go here. This is an H&M dress. I don't really wear this anymore. Mostly because it's, you have to be careful with your under things because it's kind of see-through. So I think I'm gonna let this one go. So I probably won't get very much for it, but it's a good summer dress. This is a Bowden dress. Also has cap sleeves, but I really like this. Uh, and I don't mind the cap sleeves in this one because it's jersey, so they're not as irritating as this, like, poly material. This is another H&M dress. I wear this as a beach cover-up. I love this thing. It's another nice soft jersey dress, so I'm keeping this. This is a Calvin Klein dress. Again, I don't really have need for career wear anymore, but this is a very flattering cut with this ruching on the side. This one I think is gonna go, but mm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna sell this one. Put that right there. This is that Stella McCartney dress. I'm keeping it, it's mine. So this, uh, I cannot wear anymore. This is a vintage dress from like the Y2K era. And it's polka dot. This, this dress was when I had, I'm 5'9", by the way. This dress is from when I had a 23 inch waist and used to model. And I keep it because uh, that reason. <laughs> that, that alone reason. What in the world? Why is there... What is that? This, uh, this is a suit dress from the 80s. I am going to let this go. So that's going to go over here with the Calvin Klein dress. It's very cool. It is the coolest Halloween costume possible. 
and looks really good on me, but someone else can pay me $50 for that and I could just not own it anymore. This is a skirt I've had since high school. It still kind of fits. This is from Target. Oh, this is a wool blend. That's why it feels like that. I'm keeping this. This is also when I had a 23 inch waist. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that for a little while still. I'm gonna put this with the rest of the skirts. This is an ASOS dress. ASOS Tall, by the way, makes really great stuff. I ordered this in a size, like two sizes too large. Uh, I did their little quiz thing and they told me I needed to order a 10 based on my measurements. Uh, I really need to order a six in this particular dress. So it's too big for me. So this is gonna go. I have looked cute in it though, but it's too big for me. This is a New York and Company dress. I don't wear it. It's got the belt still. Again, I don't really need queer career pieces anymore. So, cause this is my job. <laughs> I didn't really need them back then, but I had them just in case. This is a vintage skirt. Oh no, these are pants. These are pants. I don't know if I can wear these or not. I guess I have to find that out. Most of my pants are up here. I'm keeping all these pants. These are all my pants. Um, we have two other dresses. This is, I believe, an old navy dress. Uh, I don't really wear sleeveless stuff anymore. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. It's very twee. And this is a uh, extra small express dress with a drop waist and a cute tie up the top. Um, this is too short for my butt now. My butt has outgrown this little bit. So this is also going to get sold. All right. Oh, this goes over. These are the sold dresses. Okay. Wow. Um, well, that made some space. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, and also the reason why I'm not getting rid of it, this is a pair of pants. This is the Yohi Yamamoto pants. I'm never getting rid of these. I was so excited to score a pair on the real real for $10. I think it's $13 actually. But all of these wrap skirts are all vintage from my mom that my grandma made. So they're of course staying with me. These two skirts are staying with me. This one's covered in lint. So, all right, I have like a foot of space. I'm just going to move these back into my closet. The maybes are just gonna live here again because I think I've given up plenty. So let's see how many pieces I'm gonna have to list now. One, two, three, four, five, six, let's see. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 pieces. So I have pulled 19 pieces in total from my closet. It's so empty in here now. So I am going to list all of them uh, in my eBay store. And I, I've already made a spreadsheet, which I will post on the screen for you now. And I'm going to keep track of all of my sales from this and my net profit from those sales. I'm going to use to buy more stuff and we'll see how long it takes me again to get to $1,200. So I picked $1,200 again because that is what I need to cover my fist, my fix, my, my fist expense, fist expense. My fixed $1,200 is what I need to cover my fixed expenses. So that is my target for this experiment. Hopefully you guys will like to follow along and maybe this will encourage you to clean out your own closet. See how much money you can make. See you guys in a couple days for my next video and until then, bye.